Well, in the mobility uh, uh, engineering today, the three most important factors that are driving most of what we're doing is uh, uh, emission, pollution, uh, is energy security, and safety of the vehicles. And I would say 80, 90% of R&D work is going on in these areas. Well, in India, I guess uh, the frugal uh, approach that we have uh, for everything, including design, development, and also manufacturing, is something that is now well known and well appreciated throughout the world. Uh, in fact, uh, vehicles like Nano uh, have put India on the world map of uh, how a car can be designed in a very frugal manner. Uh, and that is becoming a hallmark of India. Uh, the second uh, very important point for this industry is that there is so much pent up demand uh, for automobile products uh, that for a long time, unless there is a serious downturn to the economy, for a long time we will continue to have a very strong growth in the auto industry. Well, I think uh, innovation is something that is uh, in our DNA. Uh, the reason I say that is that the word jugad, uh, which has been used so often uh, to define uh, uh, Indian way of finding a solution to every problem in a very simple uh, manner, uh, is something that is in a way first step towards innovation. And therefore, I think we are trained from a childhood uh, to be innovative. And it's uh, up to us now how we put that innovative mindset, innovative uh, DNA that we have within ourselves uh, to really work towards becoming leaders in automotive innovation uh, globally. And it is doable. We just have to put our mind to it. In the automotive uh, engineering world today, sustainability is the biggest factor that's driving what we're doing. I said earlier that uh, the energy security, that is how to consume less energy in driving our vehicles, and emission and pollution uh, are two of the biggest factors uh, that are affecting uh, or that are driving our engineering work. Uh, sustainability is important for the automotive world because automotive uh, products are one of the largest contributors uh, to pollution, unfortunately, and also one of the largest consumer uh, of the energy uh, resource that we have globally. And therefore, uh, in terms of what we can do, how we can contribute to sustainability of the environment and of energy uh, resources, uh, automotive industry has a very large contribution to make. And therefore, uh, in engineering of automotive products, that becomes a very, very important part. Clearly, innovation is what will drive uh, to take us to the next paradigm. We can continue to do marginal improvements in where we are uh, by taking our current uh, products uh, incrementally better. But to make a paradigm shift, innovation has to play a very, very key role. Well, uh, India has certainly come a long ways in terms of uh, its ability to design and develop products. Uh, many of the Indian, most of the Indian companies, in fact, in the two-wheeler space, you can look at Bajaj TVS. On the four-wheeler space, you can look at Mahindra Tata. In the uh, truck space, again, you can look at Tata and Asok Leyland. All of these companies have done a very significant uh, design development work in-house and have pr produced products that have been competitive, not just in India, but in many cases globally. Uh, but I would still say that we have uh, a long distance to cover uh, before we can call ourselves uh, at uh, international level, at global level in design and development. And the reason for that, uh, I think, is that uh, while we are able to take existing technology and leverage it fully in the product that we are launching here today, but we have not done enough in uh, making advancements towards new technology. Yes, we have done a few things, but not enough. And in fact, that's where the uh, conferences like what we have here, the Apex 16, uh, play a very important role because this will expose our engineers to what is happening uh, in the world today and also sort of excite them, motivate them uh, to go beyond today and work towards technologies for the future and put India on the map, not in just terms of uh, making or manufacturing cars, not in just terms of designing uh, current uh, generation cars, but also in terms of contributing to technologies for the future. And that's what I think is the next sort of uh, phase of uh, India emerging as the global uh, leader in auto industry. When uh, I was a young uh, engineer 30 years ago in Detroit, uh, I used to look forward to these uh, conferences uh, very eagerly uh, for several reasons. Uh, first, this is an opportunity for me to meet my heroes uh, in the automotive engineering world. 
uh, who I will just hear about but get to see them in these conferences. Uh, second, to network with uh, my peers and other, uh, other uh, companies. But third and most important thing is to learn uh, from these conferences uh, on what is happening today and kind of use this time to, to um, motivate myself to go back and do something way beyond what I have been thinking about. So I would hope that uh, the young engineers of today will use these conferences in the same way to come and uh, challenge their mind, their brain, uh, to see where we can go next from what we are doing today uh, in the design houses or in the design, uh, design rooms of our uh, own companies. And therefore, I think these kind of <coughs> uh, conferences can play a very important role in advancing what I just mentioned about uh, uh, where the Indian engineering uh, in automobile industry has to go to. Well, today, uh, sustainability is uh, uh, the most important thing in the automobile uh, industry uh, because of what I said earlier that uh, uh, automobiles are uh, one of the biggest consumers of energy resources and also uh, one of the biggest polluters of the environment, unfortunately. Uh, and therefore, uh, this theme is very appropriate for us to focus on, on this part. And the reason smart uh, technology comes in is that there are ways and means of doing this, uh, but unless we do it in a smart fashion, unless we do it in affordable fashion, uh, all of that can only become a paper exercise because we do need to have uh, growth in the industry. Uh, we do need to provide mobility to everyone, uh, to the masses, to billions of people in India. Uh, and therefore, it becomes important that we do sustainability in a smart manner. And therefore, the combination of sustainability and smart technologies uh, as a theme of this conference is very important in, in today's context.